Luckman, also known as Luckman the Wise, Luckman, Luckman, and Luckman al-Hakim, Arabic, Elkman was a wise man for whom Surah Luckman Arabic, Swart Elkman the 31st Surah chapter of the Quran, was named. While the Quran does not state many personal details about Luckman's life, including when or where Luckman lived, later Islamic traditions have elaborated upon his story. Some tales portray him as a man of Nubian descent, while others state that he was of South Arabian origin. There are many stories about Luckman in Persian, Arabic and Turkish literature, and various tafsir collections comment upon these stories. The Quran does not state whether or not Luckman was a prophet, and Islamic scholars have differing views of the matter. The Baha'i holy writings also make reference to Luckman. In the Quran The Quranic account of Luckman's life involves him offering his son religious and moral advice. He urges his son to avoid polytheism and worship Allah alone. Quran 31 to 14. He also instructs his son to be modest in attitude and to avoid arrogance. Quran 31 to 18. While the text states that Allah gave Luckman wisdom, it does not explicitly state that he is a prophet. Topic: In Islamic tradition. The tafsir written by the scholar Ibn Kathir places Luckman in Nubia or Ethiopia and portrays him as a carpenter and a slave. He states that while Luckman was a righteous servant of Allah, he was not a prophet. One tale recounted in Ibn Kathir's writings involves Luckman's master ordering him to slaughter a sheep and to bring its worst parts to him. Luckman slaughtered the sheep and took its heart and tongue to his master. The master was confused upon receiving them, but Luckman stated that. There is nothing better than these if they are good, and there is nothing worse than these if they are bad." Demonstrating his perception and wisdom. Other Islamic traditions portray Luckman as an Arab poet and wise man from the people of Ad who lived in Al-Ahqaf, near modern-day Yemen. A large number of stories demonstrating Luckman's sharp mind have made their way into Islamic tradition, including his attempts to gain a woman's love. Over time, a large number of proverbs have been attributed to him, rendering him a sort of Arabic Aesop figure. One saying attributed to Luckman has him crediting his success in life to "...truthful speech, fulfilling the trust, and leaving what does not concern me." A number of scholars speculate that he was a mythical figure known in pre-Islamic times, though there has been much debate about the relationship of the pre-Islamic and Islamic Luckmans. Some maintain that the two are the same person, others that they simply share the same name. Both Ibn Kathir and the Islamic historian Ibn Ishaq allude to a pre-Islamic Book of Luckman, or Roll of Luckman, containing his wisdom, though no such work has survived, and it is unclear if the reports of its existence are true. In Baha'i In the Baha'i writings, Luckman presents the following analogy to his son to explain the inevitability of the afterlife, O son, if thou art able not to sleep, then thou art able not to die. And if thou art able not to waken after sleep, then thou shalt be able not to rise after death. References Further reading Barham, Francis Foster Lockman's Arabic Fables, literally translated into English word for word, Bath, 1869, 12 Mo. External links Lockman. The American Cyclopedia, 1879. Surah Luckman, complete text in Arabic with English and French translations. Fabulas de Luckman pour M. Charbonneau. Paris. Hachette, 1846. Fables de Luckman le Sage, le texte des rêves, de nouveau sur les MSS. Accompagné d'une version française et des notes, et précédé d'une introduction sur la personne de Luckman et sur l'origine de ce recul de fables. 1850. 1. Epistle to the Son of the Wolf. 2. The Seven Valleys and the Four Valleys.